Today, IRFS and IMS held a press conference at the Parkin Hotel on the topic of freedom of expression in Azerbaijan to mark World Press Freedom Day. IMS representative Gilmar Akhandova introduced the event with an overview of IMS work and the goals of the conference. Heads of newspapers, information agencies, media rights organizations, independent experts and representatives of the diplomatic corps attended the forum. State officials, parliamentarians and the human rights ambassador were invited, however, they chose not to come. The forum discussed the imprisoned journalists and bloggers, the state of the freedom of press, restrictions on freedom of expression, press and internet defamation, the impact of the justice system on freedom of expression, economic independence of the media, circulation of newspapers, and so on. There are currently eight imprisoned journalists and bloggers in Azerbaijan. The murders of Elmar Senov and Rafik Taha and other crimes against journalists have not been resolved. On the contrary, the situation has deteriorated. Recently, Draka Pasa was severely beaten. A videotape of Khadija Ismailova's personal life was distributed. There is no progress in the investigations into these cases. In addition to this, journalists have been prevented from meeting with their lawyers, and their lawyers have faced pressure, said Arifa Chairman Emin Sena. Azerbaijan needs to adopt a new law on defamation, as it could regulate court decisions regarding defamation, believes IREX expert Alex Kerman Madli. In 160 cases, journalists were charged with defamation. There is relatively speaking freedom of internet in Azerbaijan. However, information transparency of state bodies remains a problem. Independent video blogger Adam Hajizada believes that there are high levels of self-censorship in internet publications, and other experts criticize the work of the state support fund for mass media. The conference also discussed the economic state of the media. The freedom of press was influenced not only by economic censorship, but also by means of judicial and fiscal harassment. After 2005, all revenues was used to bribe media representatives. In 1998, the circulation of some printed publications amounted to 8 or $9 million, but today this week is only $4 million, including Internet Media, reported to our information agency director Mehman Aliyev. The dissemination of print publications is at a critical point. There are no newspaper kiosks in 4,000 of the country's villages. There are 800 newspaper stands in the country, or 80 stands for 1 million people. This figure is 333 for Russia, 600 for the US, and more than 1,000 for the Europe, said journalist Shahbar Chobanoğlu. The conference adopted a package of proposals for the May 2nd General Forum on Freedom of Expression in Azerbaijan, organized by the European Broadcasting Union, the organizers of the upcoming Eurovision Song Contest.